Hi guys, I am Mel. Today I'm going to go to funeral of my son's um, tutor, but he was a friend of mine. So I'll be seeing his, meeting his wife for the first time. Um, so it's, it's like outside London we're going to go. It's not very far. I've not slept all night. I've been very, very anxious. Um, it, it's to do with divorce, settlement and stuff like that. Uh, it's been... <clears throat> yeah, I have I have been stressing so I couldn't sleep. Anyway, I will uh, take you guys with me, and yeah, yeah, see you later on. We are at the crematorium, just waiting for the service to happen. Uh, it's so peaceful here. It's lovely. wonderful people i thought i would record myself like this i today's sunday and i woke up very late because i have not slept for a few weeks and my face looks so so bad today however it's looking a little better because um i have slept how do i show you guys my face um anyway so it's the um bank holiday uh because last week the queen died passed away and on monday is going to be her funeral so we have um a bank holiday day before yesterday i went to roger's funeral which you guys saw or you will be seeing depending how i introduce this and um i'm going to be doing my usual um promotional shoot for my um south asian makeup or bridal bookings hopefully i get some bookings and um yes i will show you my face now so that uh you can see my skin is looking a little bit better because i, I was looking very dreadful really really bad okay so this is me waking up i applied the moisturizers I don't know whether if it's making any difference. Sorry, my hand is shaking, guys. Right, I use the Nivea Soft, which I cannot help myself from. There's a big tub there, which my son uses. And the Vitamin C Daytime Serum or Cream. And then the Hy Hyaluronic um, Moisturizer. And then, not this one, sorry. This eye cream. I used this last night, actually. And... Um, I also used the brightening brightening cream last night. I know it's not for night, but I still used it because I just think vitamin C, I love anything vitamin C. And a bit of sleep because yesterday, I swear to God, I looked so bad. I, it, this here was like really hollow. Um, and I had like very dark, dark marks around here. So today I slept, you know, late because I, my natural naturally i will wake up at 6 30 7 o'clock in the morning and i said to myself no i need to go back to sleep i've only had a few hours sleep so i slept until 11 o'clock and i have not eaten anything yet and it is i think 12 30 in the afternoon so i'm just going to prepare the table here and uh, she will be coming at two o'clock and then I'll start doing the makeup, take the pictures. Hopefully today I go for a walk. I really want to. I want to go out. Yesterday my son and I went. We had to do a lot of chores, and we had to walk. Um, he was uh, he was very upset because he had to do his homework, and he came with me to help me because I need help. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Change of plan. I just got a job um for 3 p.m so i won't be able to do my promotional makeup which i was so looking forward to it but i also need to make money so 
I am going to be going to my one of my regular clients to do makeup. Okay, I'm ready to go to work. I'm going to come back. Around 5.30, I will start with the girls. So we have sort of come to a conclusion that maybe we can do it today and uh, because she doesn't have time tomorrow and I need to really do it. So she's so sweet. Let's see if uh, what goes on, if the light is going to be all right. It's not going to be daylight, so I have to have light. Uh, fingers crossed, I can get some good shots. Turn to me now. I'm wearing this outfit. Um, the reason I'm showing you guys this outfit is because I have not worn this outfit. I think maybe once, but I have not, actually never been out. I have been going through my wardrobe and outfits that I have not worn because I have put on so much weight. Uh, I'm really ashamed and embarrassed. So I have decided to wear as many sort of, you know, cuts and stuff like tight dresses. So when I stand like this, if I have tummy, I will see it, any falls. Because what happens is when you live uh, in your jogging bottoms and track tops and stuff like that and wearing trainers your posture changes because you're not wearing high heels uh you're not wearing nice clothes you're not exercising um you know i dress up uh when i want to make a video for you guys but usually i'm quite miserable so i am trying to push myself um uh, as you get older you obviously start putting on weight and if you don't exercise you know it, it's gonna be really bad and what happens is as you get older i think you get loose skin here and i think you get a fold like that obviously this is this is a shocker for me i think maybe when you train it would get better i hope so uh because this is you know all my insecurities are just just <laughs> making me feel even worse and the thought of me even dating or if I was to be with someone, like, I would feel so... <sighs> yeah, the thought of, you know, anyone seeing me without my clothes or this type of stuff is really very scary for me. Um, I just feel so um, low about myself. Uh, you know, we have to keep telling ourselves, um, you know, give self affirmations so that you gain confidence. And I have to do that constantly because my subconscious, is it subconscious, is constantly telling me otherwise, you know. I'm, it's, it's like my mind is fighting with two people. One is saying, oh, really, look at you you know blah 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 you're nothing look at you they make fun of you they have told you you are nothing you have nothing um you know you don't have money you you don't have double degrees or whatever you don't live in Knightsbridge. all these kinds of stuff you know your father didn't give any money to your husband ex whatever all these kind of things just keep popping up because that's what i've been told you know so anyway, going back to how you can make yourself feel better, I think let's not hide ourselves in loose clothing and and then be, you know, like what happened, you put your dress on and it's tight and you're thinking, hold on a minute, why is everything so tight? Oh, because you have gained six kgs, that's why. So now I need to, I should be in the quest for of losing six kgs. Um, and to me, it sounds like, oh my God, can I do it? Uh, I don't know. Um, six cages is not much. Six, seven cages. Sorry, my fingers keep coming in here. I should be able to do it. But, you know, we have. I have to um, basically fight against muscle, um, losing muscle mass. Uh, bone, your bone gets shrinks. Uh, your skin elasticity goes. So, yes, I have to work 10 times harder. <laughs> I thought I better make video today because today was particularly tough. Uh, I was in bed and my eldest was screaming at me, not screaming, he was like, mommy, what's going on? And I was so scared, I'm like, what's going on? 
And he said, look, British Gas sent a um, bill for £1,600. And they said, we have paid 245 and we have not paid the rest because he paid for that bill. And I thought, oh, good, you know, I don't have to worry until October. And I was actually very worried because in October, let's, you know, what is the surprise? I have seen apparently there's a cap for two and a half grand. They have um, British Gas says that I have to pay for October 2021. All of a sudden I've explained to them, no, my ex will be paying for that. Now they said, no, your ex said that he has closed down their account for October. Yet when I speak to them five times and I explain to, to them situation, they just wanted my name so they can put the bill on, send it to me because then you become liable and they can uh, report you to credit scoring where it will affect your credit score. So I, I, I don't know even at the best of times how I can pay 1600 It stopped recording because I have no memory on my phone. That's why I have to start again. Um, I don't know what I was saying. I see you forgotten i think i was talking about what i would do if i had money i would just leave that's it and deal with get a therapist not wait for one year i've been waiting for a psychiatrist um i would get therapy and maybe live somewhere nice now i can't even have, i can't even think of living can can you imagine my mortgage is so unbelievably little like 500 and 500 pounds and 87 pence i can't afford that i could have maybe if my utility utility bill was in um i don't know a month 500 pounds a month and it's not like before I have done it where I was homeless. I slept in my car when I left my first husband. I was a teenager. Um, the world was my oyster. And I have realized also when you have a man, I had two men in my life, two men in my life, both fucked me over. And the first one is still, you know, fucked me over and introducing his fuck buddy to my ex. Yeah, so yeah. But you know what? God is there. Look what happened to him. His wife left him. Because she found out that he's been with a prostitute. Why do men do that? Why do men have... Like, why is sex so important to men? Why don't they just meditate? If sex comes over your children um your moral values everything go and meditate i think that's why a lot of men they love talking about religion you'll see most men least religious they sleep around they're promiscu promiscuous their their thinking is very fucked up and then they talk about religion and i just think wow why are you even talking about religion you won't be practicing it <laughs> but that's just few few men you know from certain cultural backgrounds um you know there's good and bad in every culture i'm sure what do you guys think of this makeup i think this eyelashes if you can't see it this eyelashes here, maybe thicker, more, I don't know. Um, it's very, very comfortable. I use this eyelashes, hold on. Ouch. Uh, these ones, they look like cheap. These are called Vogue. I bought it from TK Maxx for $3.99. Um, and they're three pairs and it's so comfortable. Um, in Vogue. Jet Setter eyelashes. Um, I quite like, and I use Tarte, um, what do you say, concealer. 
I don't use anything. I, I realise when I do my makeup, I don't use the right brushes because everything is in my kit. Anything nice I have, I put it in my kit. So for me, I have very little. I don't even wear foundation. And I saw, oh, there was two of NARS foundation and, and um, Charlotte Tilbury. But the Charlotte Tilbury is way too dark. It's like literally orange dark colour. Um, and I think I need to start doing more makeup on my face. I don't feel confident. That's why I don't do it. Because my face is very fucked up. Um, sorry to use like language like this. But yeah, I would usually say that. So I'm, why should I not say it in front of you guys? I would say that. Um, yeah, so yeah, there's the light which I'm not using. Because it, it I, I look like, I don't know, it looks really bad. Um what was I saying? Yeah, so I don't use proper things, you know, like eyebrow thing, do it properly. I am like, oh, I can't be bothered with my makeup. My makeup should not take more than 15 minutes and done, you know. Um, and the times that I have done makeup is for you guys. And I think as I'm getting older, it's getting harder and harder. You know what? I have these lashes are very comfortable it took me literally two minutes to put on usually eyelashes take me so long to put and the thinner the band worse it is this one but it's not like a thick band on my just making me feel uncomfortable it's not it's actually really nice the reason so this cut i had this when i was a child um and this cut has caused creasing i don't know why is it old age does that it's like someone has punched me and it's it used to be there but it's like it's like um it's gone deeper no collagen my collagen is moving around and i think if i had botox this will be okay see but this like what do you do with a situation like this and all this I've got like a creased up eyebrows, I mean forehead, creasy, denty kind of forehead. Mm. I feel embarrassed, but why should I feel embarrassed? I think old age does these type of things to you and, and I feel very embarrassed, like, oh my God, people are going to see, I have got a crease, um, I have got fucked up face, you know? You can't live in hiding, isn't it? <laughs> I think if I, when I put makeup on, it gets more highlighted, you know, all the flaws. Look, the light is not good. My eyes look really dark. I have to cook now. My um, sister-in-law, my niece and her sister, meaning my sister-in-law and her sister, and my niece, they're coming tomorrow from Malaysia. <laughs> I hope I can be a very nice host. I am so stressed. I'm My anxiety level is so high. <sighs> and worrying about not being a good, good host or um, not being kind and attentive is making me even more anxious. I know a lot of people um, that support me and, and you guys watch me, whether if it's my relatives or not, they probably think, oh, you seem all right. But this is when I'm recording. I don't go out, you know, I don't see anyone. And when I do record it, it's because of YouTube, you know. Um, I don't record 99% of the time. It's only if I've, I'm going out something that's interesting, I will record it, you know, like when I went to Roger's funeral, I recorded it as much as I could because I didn't want to be disrespectful. This video is, I think, is going to be quite long. I'm so sorry because I'm just ranting on. Um, but this is the place I like. I feel very comfortable and talk about things. And um, it would be good to see where my reality life takes me. And it will be good to see to go back and how my life changed. I wish I recorded it since last year instead of going on TikTok, but 
I literally had breakdown. I didn't wash myself. I stayed in bed for four days straight. Um, you know, I do have days like that, but I don't feel like I want to go on TikTok to let people know. I think I was a bit out of, out of control then, how I felt. Now, it's um, it's my problem is not that initial heartbreak, betrayal. Uh, now it's just dealing with everything that has happened to me, the flashbacks, the depression. Um, I have no self-worth, nothing. No matter how I try, I keep trying and um, I am very positive, but today is not a very positive day. I'm so sorry, guys. It's not very ins inspirational, but I know I will have something good. I hope so. I know I talk about like all very negative things, but that's how I'm feeling. I don't want to come here and say, I am here. I am making my diary entries to impress my viewers because as far as i'm concerned there's no viewer you know it's just me instead of writing i'm recording because i can't write i can't write to save my fucking life i hate fucking writing because i feel my standard of writing is not good enough it's not i feel it's fact it's it's, it's not about me feeling it's, it's factual uh my standard of um someone writing is high you know I, I i know what is what without having to go into it too much yeah uh and and on top of that i've got piles and piles and piles of writing and uh, reading and all these kind of do excuse all this mess uh, uh, today's I spend my day, if I'm not going to work to earn money, I will have to fucking clean. Um, because I want to clean. Um, I have to fucking clean because no one is there to clean. Because I feel if I if it's not tidy, it drives me crazy even more. If I'm in bed and I, I, I don't get out, I don't see it. So then I will just stay. But as soon as I wake up and I'm... Um, I get myself out of bed, I have to tidy up, you know, and it's very hard. My hand is a killer. Um, I know it's got nice nail varnish and it's pink and stuff like that, but it, I, I, unless you get go through the pain, you will not know. I have got a hospital appointment at 9 o'clock in October, which is a few weeks away. And then i don't even know if i should tell my gp about like what do i do with my knee this the surgeon said it either you have operation there's no guarantee or you exercise and you will have this pain always that's how it is so my hair is dry my hair needs coloring badly it, it's shite um i don't have any money to do any coloring or anything it's, this is how it is needs cutting i might just ponytail and just chop it all off come to talking about hair have you heard of the girl her name is mess uh something sorry i was just the email popping up um it's an Iranian girl who died. She was beaten up by the moral police. Uh, in Iran, they, they these hijabi women with burqa on drive around in a van looking for women. And then they torture them, beat them up, find them, slap them up, you know. Or they take them, arrest them and then beat them up and torture them. And this girl, she was beaten so badly that she died. She was in a coma for a few days and she died. And entire Iran is, well, not entire Iran, because if that was the case, you know, it won't be what it is. But yeah, men, women chopping their hair off, taking the hijab, they're burning, they're dancing, they're doing these things in, pro in, prote uh, in protest. 
my client um, Golazin, she's been my client for many years. She lives in the States now. Um, well, she comes and goes. And she, she's, we did a program. She did, um, she, she writes songs about this. And um, this is a few months ago, actually quite some time, uh, about four months ago, I think. Uh, did a, a television pro program um, about women, you know, and hijab and stuff like that. And it's incredible that she was doing this. We did this shoot four months ago, and now a girl is dead. You know, we need to talk about awareness. People don't realize, you know, and this is very controversial. When I go on TikTok, I see a lot. I see what things are like, you know, and um, I get told to cover myself and blah, 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 blah. And they have no idea about my upbringing and my thinking and stuff like that. But anyway, um, I just see a lot of people talk about how they... Hmm, maybe I shouldn't talk about it. I won't talk about it. I think politics. <laughs> I will not talk about it. Uh, I'm not sure if I should talk about it because... Um, people don't like to hear the truth, you know. My brother always says that you should speak your mind. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go now. My son is here. And I need to tidy up. Uh, and think about dinner. <sighs> Take care. And I shall see you soon. Bye.